Only drawing at 20 amps from my batteries at the moment. Ah, so it's got charging 5 hours and 40 minutes remaining. Pulling 40 amps from my battery. Let's go and turn it up a little bit more. Oh wow, it's as easy as that. Yep. Real time. See how high it will go. It won't go over 16. I'm not sure if it'll go to 15. Uh, I'm just worried about the inverter, what the inverter will do. Okay. No, yeah. 15 amps. Oh, well, 16. Go 16. Yeah, just tripped. Okay. Did it? Did it? We're still saying charging stopped. Oh. So, unfortunately, we just tried to go up to um, 16 amps. Unfortunately, the the boards wouldn't take it, so it clicked out. But that's still a really, really good test. We can actually charge a Tesla even if it's slow. On Pete's power wall, completely off grid. I've got everything turned off there. So the switch and stuff in the circuit board, so none of the house is running. This is only charging the Tesla. There we go. It's charging at 10 kilometers per hour. So there's another five hours before it's charged. I think it's because That's not bad. Set charging limit. Oh, you can actually schedule charging. The old pip is putting out 220 volts pretty consistently too, which I like to see. Sort of get the thermal camera out while we've got a bit of a, we're going to call it a Tesla load on it. Pack five there. It's not hotter than anything else. The old pip, 26 degrees. Now it's early and we're not actually charging from um, from solar at the moment. Oh yeah, we've got a little bit of solar coming in. Battery, 128 watts. So we've got 63% load on the inverter currently. So it's handling it all right. We don't have any extra heat anywhere. Hey, g'day. So that was my effort of um, charging a Tesla motor car. Now, in all honesty, unfortunately, we only had the car there for an hour and we had the power boards tripping out. So we had to you know, deal with a bit of stuff with getting the power to the actual car. And we only actually put about two kilowatts in. So it wasn't, it wasn't overly accurate when you, you know, we charged a motor car. Well, we charged it when we started the charge time constraints and all that I would have loved to do a 5 or 10 or 15 hour charge but that wasn't to be so on the upside I now have um, Aaron's I've Nissan just Leaf. Come to my end of my very first solo drive in electric vehicle some things are absolutely clear at this stage one the EP grin is real two cruise control is a godsend because this thing speeds really easily Three, range anxiety sucks. I tell you what, I just got back from about a hundred kilometer round trip, dropping Aaron at the airport. I tell you what, I panicked like all get out. Check this out. We got one bar left, but I made it home, so that's all good. The kicker is I'm driving around and it's nine degrees without any heat so I can get home. <laughs> anyway, that's day, that's that's test drive one of the Nissan Leaf. Right out, now let's get out and we have to charge it up now. Okay, so we've got all the Nissan Leaf set up and ready to, to, to recharge again. I need to realize that i got family and everything here. My batteries have gone flat yet again. This is the third time in a week. Um, you can tell from the little red flashy lights on the long ones Oh, and we got one there. One down the bottom there. And one there. So they've dropped below my minimum preferred voltage. So the long one lets me know. So we've got to replace some of those out. In order to combat these batteries going flat, I've got another 1500 kilowatt of panels for um, 100 bucks off Gumtree. I um, got them a few weeks ago, so I'm going to throw them up here. It's going to give me um, a little bit more charging capacity. And I tell you what. Me and Manuel Lava, we no friend. Throwing these panels up went quite quickly. Luckily I had uh, one of my subscribers um, head around and help. These panels are facing due east and then winter, an hour after sunrise, they're starting to get some good sun and producing about 10 amps of power. As you can see from my grid tie system on the right, it's still in full shade. These panels are my off grid and they are on my workshop roof and are facing due north. 
My grid tied setup is 11 panels facing due north and they're all 250 watt panels and then 13 panels to the west in the setting sun making 6000 watts of panels on my grid tie inverter. So in total I had the Nissan Leaf for 19 days. I did about 300 maybe 350 kilometers in it and I did about three three good charges I think and, and a few little ones. I did two complete charges off the battery bank. Uh, one completely throughout the day and then one halfway through the day and halfway through the night and that's the time lapse we're watching now. Uh, so after driving it for a week or two or three or whatever it was it's apparent to me that they are just a fantastic machine to drive around. The sun's well and truly gone down now. Later in the evening we still have to charge this car so I can pick Aaron up tomorrow. Um, this beeping noise is driving me crazy. 82. Get it into the power shed. We pick up where we took off so we've got 7.768 kilowatt hours gone into the batteries. Let's turn it on up here. down there. Uh, I think I made this mistake before. I've got to go and turn the car off in order to charge it. There you go. Anyway, as we turned it off, now the lights are starting to blink. So that way we've got some charging happening. Back down here again. Got my hand on the brake. Turn it back on again. Now we have dash lights. And we have charging lights. And we've got a decent load happening. So let's charge the rest of this car up and see how it goes. Would I buy a Nissan Leaf? Um, yes, but I wouldn't get rid of my ICE car. I really still need that range. The fact that I had this, this car for so long and didn't spend a single cent on electricity, I made a point of not drawing a single kilowatt hour from the grid. Everything was done from my batteries or from solar and it worked quite well it was quite cheap and once you start learning how to drive it geez you could get some range out of it drive it in eco mode drive below the speed limit just you know take it for what it is don't be in a rush well there we go tubers i can charge electric vehicles off my little power wall here that i built i'm pretty bloody stoked with the results i learnt a lot while i was at it after throwing up those extra panels i tell you what uh, that, that was really what I needed, just that little, that little bit more charging earlier in the morning to take those loads off the cells. Now I had 3 kilowatt hours of um, panels on this, this was on the workshop roof. And what I found was, during the day, when we were cranking the amps from the solar and we were just doing solar, we weren't taking from the batteries, um, this inverter wasn't getting anywhere near as hot. Um, I don't know if that's because of the conversion or whatever else. If you do know, let me below. Let me know below. And the way I think of it is if it's got to convert it into battery power and then it's got to go battery back into 240 volt or whatever, um, that generates more heat. But going directly from solar to charging the car or doing anything at a high load, this didn't get it anywhere near as hot. But what I've done is I've changed this around. So I've got the PCM60X here, which is all plugged in. Now this has now running the shed roof panels, the workshop roof panels. So that's got the three kilowatt panels and I moved the 1.5 kilowatt panels that I just put onto the roof onto this one. So this one shouldn't get as hot on day to day usage. Well that's the hope anyway. Um, I've got a couple of new circuit breakers here. It's all been wired in properly and all safely now. So I'm really happy with the way it's progressing. I really need some more room in here or a proper studio perhaps. Anyway tubers, that's this one. I'll see you on the next one. If you like what I do, hit the little like button, subscribe. Um, in the next day or three, I'm gonna be relaunching my Patreon to sort of try and help my channel grow a little bit. Things are a little bit tight and it would help. Um, I think I actually made a mistake by turning that off, but yeah, I make mistakes. I'm like everybody else. So thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.